So when you will work in a company as a smart contract developer, so when you will write any kind of a smart contract, they're going to tell you that you have to build the documentation for that. Because what if they want to convert that smart contract as a library? So most of you know Open Zippling, they have multiple contract and they have their documentation so other can utilize that. Okay, so it's always very important that you have to know that how to write the documentation of the smart contract which you are building. So in this video, I'm going to take you through that because here I have built this social media smart contract and I'm not going to cover this smart contract, but I will focus on the smart contract functionality and how I have written into my documentations for the smart contract. Okay, so you can see this is the entire smart contract which I have written for the social media platform. Again, I will cover this in the next video. Okay, so let me show you. Let me take you through this. So here we have this contract social media. We have taken this mapping and we have this user struct in that we are keeping all the information about the users. And this is the second struct we have in that we are keeping the information about the user and the, the person he is talking to and the timestamp. And here we have the messages in that we are storing all the messages and this is the very first function we have in this contract create user obviously they have to create their account then they can utilize the smart contract for sending the information for sending the messages so this is the create user then we have add of user because once someone will create their account they will be stored in the database and if anybody wants to connect with that as a friend they can do that by using this function and that they have to pass the address of that particular address of that account address so this is the Second function we have, this is the delete and you can add multiple options to this. So right now the user can delete his account, but we should always not allow user to delete his account. I will talk about that in the smart contract section. Okay. So this is the update user. They can update their data. This is how they can send their message with this send message and they have this get message so they can easily able to retrieve the message between the two user or if they want to get the entire message, they can get it. This is the all user, get all user. So as an admin, as a smart contract owner, you can easily able to get all the addresses all the user in your smart contract. So these are the entire smart contract we have written. And now let me show you the documentation which I have written for this. So this is the entire documentation I have written for this social media smart contract. So this is the overview and this overview contain most of the information about this smart contract. So this smart contracts allow user to create profile on social media platform, make connection with other user, send and receive message, update their profile information. So very short and very clear. So those who will use the smart contract, they can read this information and they can know, okay, so if I use this particular smart contract, I can able to do these of the things. Okay, very short and very clear. So you should always keep that in mind that you have to write the overview within the three line, not more than that. And here I have explained about the data set which I have taken. So what are the data I'm storing into my contract? So this is the contract detail. So we have taken a struct and the struct name is user and that we are storing the information about the users. And that's what I have explained in one single line. And here I have explained about the fields which I'm taking from the user. So we have taken name, it's a type of string, bio, string, and we have taken this friend. And this friend is going to be a type of array because we're going to store multiple addresses because one person can have multiple friends. So that's why we have taken this array. We have the message. It's also an array because multiple friends can send multiple messages. So that's the one. And here we have taken another struct, which is a message. And in that we are storing the information about those messages. Like it. So that's what we have explained here. So this is how we have defined the struct, the data set we are taking in our contract. And that's what I have explained here. So this is the messages. So we have sender, recipient, content, timestamp, and this is the mapping we have. So let me separate this one. So in this mapping, we are mapping with address to user. So if the user will provide his address, so we can easily able to identify the information about him. So that's how we are mapping the data. You can go with the ID. So you can assign an ID to a single individual whenever they create an account. But it's always better that they have to identify them based on their addresses okay because the addresses is going to be unique so you can add extra field but i will go with the addresses and here we have explained that we have taken this messages is a type of array and that's what we have explained here and now we have explained about all the function we have included into the smart contract okay very short very clear so the very first function we have is create user and that we are explaining that what type of data we are taking so we are taking string type of memory and we are taking the bio so these are the two data we are taking at the time of creating an account so you can see that's the same thing i have written here so you can easily able to read that okay very simple this is what i have mentioned here if you come back here this is the make friend function we have in that we are passing the address very simple and this is the simple statement i have explained here so okay so if you guys want you can read that so let me make it into multiple lines so you guys can 
have the look so let me go this function allow them to make friends so this function allow user to add another as a friend it make it address of type friend okay so what kind of argument they have to provide that's all i have mentioned here and this is the delete one so this will allow us to this will this will allow user to delete themselves from the smart contract so if they don't want to be a part of the social media they can utilize it and they can simply delete their account and the fourth function we have is update user so if they want to change any information about their name and their address or the bio so they can easily able to do that now the fifth function we have is send message so in that we have to pass the address of the person who i want to send the message so here we have this make friend in that will have the address so it will automatically get store all the addresses of the person we are friend with so if you come back to the user struct you can see this is the where it is this is the okay this is the address friends it's a type of array so in that we are storing all the friends so this is how we can simply able to send the message and the last one we have is to get message so we can all we have to do is to simply call this function and it will give us all the messages which we have communicated in this smart contract in the social media platform so i believe that you guys have know that how you can write the documentation because you have to practice definitely because when you will write uh, become a smart contract developer there you're going to build the contract along with that you're going to provide a guidance for the other fellow developer so just imagine that you are working on a only smart contract and you have to give the guidance to the person who is working on the front end the one who's connecting the smart contract with the front end so he has to know that what function you have built how he can call the data sets whether you have declared any variable as a public or a private so all those things you have to mention in the contract and this is the best way you can start practicing building this small small details about the smart contract as you can see this smart contract is very simple and you can see this smart contract is very simple and very simply we have explained that what this smart contract is going to do what are the data set we have how what are the function we have what are the data we are taking from the user and how we are getting the data okay so make sure to pause the video and try to read so again i'm going to just simply bring this slowly slowly so you guys can have a look okay and I want you to pause the video and try to read everything the way I have written and try to write. So whenever you write any smart contract, try to write the small documentation. Don't try to increase more than three lines, okay? Whatever function you are explaining, whatever overview you are giving, don't ex exceed more than three lines or try to keep in between one or two. That would be perfect. So again, I'll, I'll explain you in detail about the social media smart contract later. But for the time being, in this video, I just wanted to focus that on the... But in this video, I just wanted to focus on the documentation part. So make sure to have a proper look of it and try to write documentation around the contract. If you're new to smart contract developer, I want to recommend you to follow the complete playlist of Solity smart contract developer. And we have covered close to eight Web3 project, blockchain project. So make sure to build all of that. And that will give you a complete idea that how you can write the smart contract, how to connect, how to focus on the security part, all of those things. Okay. So if you are new to my channel, hit like and subscribe. That will motivate. I want to see that how you write your documentation about the smart contract. So do let me know in the comment section and I'll try to cover that. With that, I'm ending this. Have a wonderful day.